Hello friends, so in today's video we are going to see next question from Concise Mathematics chapter Banking Exercise 2A and question number 5 and the question number 5 is saying a man has a recurring deposit account in a bank for three and a half year. Okay, so there is a recurring deposit account for which the person has to pay every month certain amount. So this person has opened the account for three and a half year, right? Now, if the rate of interest, of course, bank is will be giving some interest rate. So here the bank is giving the rate of interest of 12% per annum and man get rupees 10206. That is the maturity value. The maturity amount the person is getting is 10206, right? Now the question is asking find the value of monthly installment means how much money how much amount he is depositing in the bank every month right so if you see my previous video of question number four is exactly the same question let me tell you once again how to solve this using which formula so if you go back you can see there are two formula one is i is equal to p into n n plus 1 oblique 2 into 12 into r by 100 for which we will be getting the interest amount right and the next formula we are going to use is maturity value of the recurring deposit and that is equal to total sum deposited plus interest on it so these two formula we are going to use in this kind of a question right so let me just write the formula first for you and then will solve the question using those formula so formula is i is equal to p into n n plus 1 oblique 2 into 12 into r by 100 i have already explained the meaning of these term but let me tell you again so i is basically the interest amount you will be getting p is the deposited amount every month and n is number of month you are paying for that bank and r is rate of interest the bank is giving to you right and the second formula is maturity value which is total sum deposited i am just writing tsd plus interest on it right so of course there will be some money you are paying that is if you further bifurcate that is p here and that money you are paying for certain month that is n here and plus on that money you will be getting some interest amount and that is i here right so we can say maturity value is equal to p into n plus i right and this i I have already told you in our previous video this i is nothing but this i so both i are same right now go back to the question and see what are the data they have shared so first thing is saying bank for three and a half year means the recurring deposit is for three and a half years so n here is three and a half years how many months that will be 42 month right that's one what else is given rate of interest is 12 percent and lastly maturity value which is 10206 right these are the two formulas just use it this is the one this is the two and you can easily find the value of p is very simple question right let me tell you how to solve this kind of a question so i is equal to p we don't know okay and n is what 42 into n plus 1 that means 42 plus 1 that is 43 divided by 2 into 12 into r is what 12 oblique 100 it's very easy 12 12 cancel 
टू वन जे टू 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 जे फोर टू टू वन राइट सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस फर्दर दिस विल बिकम ट्वेंटी वन एंड फोर्टी थ्री सो फोर्टी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज थ्री दिस इज फोर दिस सिक्स दिस इज एट दिस इज थ्री दिस इज जीरो एंड दिस इज नाइन सो दिस विल बिकम नाइन जीरो थ्री पी ऑब्लिक हंड्रेड दिस इज योर आई नाउ इफ यू पुट दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन इन दिस फॉर्मूला राइट सो दिस विल बिकम मेच्योरिटी वैल्यू मेच्योरिटी वैल्यू इज वॉट वन जीरो टू जीरो सिक्स इज ऑलरेडी बिन गिवेन इज इक्वल टू वॉट पी पी इन टू वॉट एन एन इज वॉट हियर एन इज फोर्टी टू मंथ प्लस i i is what this one this is what this one and this is 903 p oblique 100 right now if you solve this further this is 100 so this is 4200 plus 90 sorry this is 4200 let me write it p here and then this is p Is equal to one zero two zero six. If we solve this, this will become what? Four two double zero p plus nine zero three p. Five one zero three p oblique hundred. This is one zero two zero six. Now, if we solve this further, this will become what? P is equal to वन जीरो टू जीरो सिक्स इंटू हंड्रेड ऑब्लिक फाइव वन जीरो थ्री एंड इफ यू सॉल्व दिस फर्दर लेट मी राइट फाइव वन जीरो थ्री इंटू टू दिस विल कम सिक्स जीरो टू टेन वन जीरो टू जीरो सिक्स एग्जैक्टली द सेम काउंट सो टू सो दिस विल बिकम टू हंड्रेड सो P is equal to two hundred. That means, therefore, answer is amount of each installment. Installment is equal to how much? Two hundred, and that is your answer.